got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are decorating for spring, which to me means yellows and greens. I'm very excited to get this stuff put up because it is cold and rainy outside and I need some joy in my life. So I'm excited to show you all the things. Let's get to it. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, go down, 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 down. Here are all of the spring treasures that I found or that I had on hand and I'm so excited to decorate and share everything with you guys. When I walk around my house now, I'm just so happy with how everything turned out. Kind of slanted bookcase has seen better days. When I moved it from my old house to this house, it just didn't hold up that well. It's got some nicks and scratches that you can't really see on camera, but up close you can see them all. I usually had kept some old decor over here and then my parents' Bible that I am now moving into our bedroom. This space needed to be redecorated for a really long time and there's nothing better than putting up fresh decorations that are full of joy and bright colors so it looks so good. Um, you will see that the bottom two shelves, I did end up putting something on the second to the last shelf at the very end of decorating this but I keep the bottom open because I have a small child who likes to get into everything. She hasn't gone over there yet so maybe we're out of that phase but you can wish me luck on that. If you are a mama out there with little ones and you know the struggle it is to keep everything put away and breakable things up off the ground or close to the ground, then you understand how I am feeling. Short phase that will not last forever and one day I will have a coffee table that I so desperately dream of. This little table over here by our entrance I have had forever. It was actually just a, a wood that came that needed to be stained, so I stained it and then eventually I didn't like the stain, so we painted it. It's just a little standard table that I've had forever, but it does the job over here eventually. When our child is a little bit older, we will get something nicer for this area. I was so excited when I found this guy at Home Goods. I think he was $16.99, but it was one of my favorite purchases. I'm going to keep him out for summer as well. I think I have an Easter one but I'll put him in a different area, but look at how cute he is. They are my favorite. I love my dining room table. It's been around for a while now and we do not use it very often. It's more of a fancy dinner or holiday place to sit. And this table runner is very special to me. My mom actually made it specifically for this table and I picked the pattern. It's yellows and grays and whites and I love it. It kind of goes with most of the seasons besides fall and Christmas, which I do have a Christmas one she made me as well, but I love this table runner. Over the years, I have done many different centerpieces on the table, lanterns, I've done flowers, all different things, and I have this tray that I usually keep on my counter or on top of my stove with just some holiday things in there, and so I knew I wanted it for a centerpiece, and I started dreaming for weeks about what it would look like, and it actually came out to what I was thinking. I happened to find all of the right pieces, and I love how it turns out. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love, let me love you. 
a few other pieces of decor to spread around the house. As you guys know, Easter is coming up, so I will be adding a whole bunch of Easter decor and taking down the St. Patrick's Day decor in a few weeks. But for now, I'm just putting out my last few things that I have, and then we're going to move on to some treats and a craft with my toddler. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. Oh! You guys know I love my scents. This one is Flying Over Africa, which is actually a scent from the ride Soren in Disneyland or Disney World, and it smells like fresh cut grass, and it was perfect for spring. Moving on to some Funfetti cupcakes. I end up making large ones and some mini ones for my penny, and this was just something fun to do. I thought that Funfetti resembled spring, they're easy, they're not homemade, and we did end up using the unicorn sprinkles that came with it because that's what my daughter wanted to put on it, so that's what we did. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it, cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight, oh. So give me, so give me your all, I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh. I'll stick like glue inside your mind, just watch me breathe. definitely learning young the joy of baking and she loves being mommy's little helper and I don't know if I will ever be over her concentration and cuteness Watch me break in your sweet. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. for frosting I make homemade frosting a lot but we're doing easy today and so I have the jar and the easiest thing you can do is put it in a ziploc bag and cut the tip off of the end and squirt your frosting out that way I do have the containers that you can put them in and make all of the fun shapes and designs but that is a lot of work to clean up and this makes it look just as good without a ton of frosting so that little kids don't have to get all of that sugar. As I've said before, everybody in our house has a sweet tooth, and my little one is no exception. She does eat some healthy foods that we try to give her, but we enjoy cupcakes, and obviously she does too. <laughs> now that my little helper is content, I'm going to finish off these cupcakes and do the larger ones, and then her and I are going to do a fun craft together. Be 
for a bunch of different spring crafts and I found a bunch of Easter ones that I saved that we will be doing in the Easter decorate with me but this one I kind of just made up um, it came from inspiration from a toy that we bought her that I haven't given to her yet where you create your own garden and so I thought maybe she would have fun using a glue stick and trying to get these flowers put together choosing which colors she likes and making an art project It was fun, it was easy, it was something to break up our day, it was a good 20 minutes of our time, and it was just something nice that we could share together when you're a mom at home, you're trying to break up the day and find things to do that are different than you normally do, and so this worked out great. As you can see, she absolutely loved it and I ended up having to get another piece of paper to put the flowers on because I didn't realize when I pulled out her one piece that glue was going to get everywhere. I guess I should have known that.
guys enjoyed today's video and if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye